When completing assessments, it is important that you provide sources for all research and reading that you refer to. By providing references in your work, you can demonstrate that you have read widely and deeply, show your understanding of a topic, acknowledge that you have read and recognise the ideas of authors and leading experts in your field, allow the reader to precisely locate where your idea or quote is from. By referencing, you also protect yourself from plagiarism. To support and provide evidence for your writing, you cite the material that you have used. To do this, refer to or cite the author responsible for the information. This information may come from several different sources. Journals, newspapers, articles, government reports, online materials, research dissertations or books. It is fairly standard in education and academia that the Harvard system is used when citing or referencing in assessment writing and by many is expected. When using the Harvard system, the reference is recorded in two parts, within the text and within the reference list or bibliography. The in-text citation appears in the body of your text and should precede the quote that is being referenced. The citation should consist of the name of the author and the year of publication. When a source has multiple authors, these should be separated by commas and provided alphabetically. The full reference should consist of the following. The author, the year, this can usually be found on the copyright page inside the book. The title, the edition and the publisher. You may wish to split materials into source types, grouping book titles, websites and articles into different sections. It is vital that your references are recorded correctly and consistently.